So it seems that whenever I run out of new stuff to do a video on, I always take a trip back in time and redo one of my old videos. And today is no exception. So I present to you the redo review of Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Class Skids and Mudflap Ice Cream Twins. Now this set is arguably the most unique toy from the Revenge of the Fallen line. Purely because, I mean obviously in case you've been living under a rock, they actually combine, they are two separate figures. Uh, this is Mudflap, this is Skids. Um, and I thought that was really cool. I really dig the fact that they actually made a toy of this. I didn't think they would uh, when I first saw the movie, but man, I was pleasantly surprised when they came out with this. Um, so obviously it is an ice cream truck, uh, very retro, really like the look of this. Um, it says creamy ice cream on the top there, it's got a blue painted window, little Cornetto sort of thing there. Made fresh for you in Comic Sans, you know, because they got lazy. Uh, translucent windows, nice detailing on the grill here on the lights. Um, he has a little bit more moulded detailing on the front there. He's got a couple of rivets and a couple of vents. Uh, on the back, uh, mud flap. Um, Painted windows, an upside down Autobot symbol, and uh, some moulded doors on there. So, fairly decent detailing. He also has this uh, sort of ice cream, sort of Mr. Whippy sort of thing on the top here. That's just made of sort of rubber plastic. And uh, there's also a speaker on there. That's just moulded plastic. Um, but yeah, really nice looking vehicle mode. I'm surprised they actually managed to pull this off, but they did it really well. Uh, I think this works really nicely. Um, very, very pleased with how this looks. Uh, one thing that you should be aware of is that these tabs uh, on skids here are very susceptible to breaking. I mean, there's always some, already some stress marks on there. In fact, this is the second figure I've had. Um, I had to buy another one because, you know, those tabs broke and, uh, you know, they couldn't combine into the ice cream truck. You can also see that there's uh, some stress marks on mud flaps, little tabs there. So definitely watch out for that. Be very careful uh, when messing around with these guys. Uh, but if you're careful with them, then they should be fine. Uh, don't just don't apply too much uh, force to it, and uh, yeah, you'll be all right. But anyway, there is the ice cream mode. Um, so let's get them transformed into their robot modes. So to transform these guys, we're going to start with Skids first because he's probably the easiest. Um, just going to pull them apart. And for skids here, we're going to take the bottom bumper here, just pull it down, like so. And then we can come around here, just pull the legs out, like that. Unpeg the arms from these sides here, like that. Take these little windows and just sort of push them up. Then we're going to push down on the grill here, and that will just spring up. Um, it's all kind of spring-loaded, you have to sort of wedge it down. Then we're just going to take this, and we're just going to rotate it around, like that. Take the arms, just lift them up here, like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this waist piece all the way around, like that. And it's, this is kind of fiddly to do, uh, you've just got to sort of maneuver everything out of the way. Once you've done that, uh, it's fairly straightforward. Then we're just going to take this little piece here, just push that down, and ladies and gentlemen, there is Skids in his little robot mode. Now on to the other half, which is Mudflap. We're gonna take these pieces here, just gonna sort of fold them out, like so, and it's kind of a pain to do. Then we're gonna take these pieces, just fold them out as well. Unhook the arms from here. I'm gonna take this back piece, I'm just gonna try and unpeg this whole section. That really does peg in quite tight. Um, so watch out for that, you could possibly break the joint. Um, I'm going to come around here, take these pieces, just sort of fold them out. Now mud flap is kind of fiddly to do. Uh, in fact they're both kind of fiddly, but honestly, who the hell cares? With a vehicle mode as awesome as that, then uh, it's fine. Anyway, lift these pieces up, try and get everything out of the way really. Um, lift his arms up, take these pieces, fold them around like that. And now the Autobot symbol is the correct way around. Fold the arms down, fold these pieces down, and then for these back panels here you can really do what you want with them. I sort of like to flick them up just like that, uh, and that's actually kind of accurate to how they are in the movie. But there is Mudflap, I mean obviously you want to split the legs, in his robot mode. Now I've got to say, I absolutely love these robot modes, they look so cool, they're really accurate to the movie and they just they have so much character, I really really like them. Um, so I'm going to focus on skids first 
So get Mudflap out of the way. So here is Skids in his robot mode. You can see he's got a really goofy looking head skull, but he's got one eye bigger than the other. Uh, he's got the buck teeth there. Um, I always kind of like the design for these guys. No idea why. Honestly, Skids and Mudflap didn't annoy me that much in the movie either. Um, I think everyone was just overreacting. Uh, you can see he has one giant hand and one teeny tiny hand that's just modded in there. Uh, they both have that. Uh, which is kind of weird. Mudflap is uh, more noticeable. In fact, he's barely even got a hand. Um, for articulation, uh, the head is on a ball joint, but you won't get that much posability out of it just because of the way it is. Um, you can sort of move these joints up and down. You can bend up here at the sort of lower shoulder, bend at the elbow, and he's also got a ball joint there. Uh, he does have waist articulation, but only uh, a little bit. Um, He's got a ball joint up here, can bend at the knee, can also swivel at the knee. And the feet are on tiny, tiny ball joints and they can also sort of pivot. Um, so you can get some fairly decent articulation out of Skids. Now on to Mudflap. Now you can see that Mudflap's head is even more goofy than Skids. Uh, I mean, my god, what the hell's going on in there? Uh, yeah, he has got one eye bigger than the other and they're all just sort of at really weird angles. Um, he has some fairly decent detail in the robot mode. I mean, he's got the creamy ice cream logos up there. Uh, Autobot symbol on the front, which Skids does not have. Um, he's got the uh, ice cream uh, Cornetto things on the side. Uh, basically, Mudflap is more uh, detailed because, I mean, here's the back of the ice cream truck, which tends to have all the decals on and everything. For articulation, the head is on a ball joint. Uh, he's got ball jointed shoulders, can also uh, rotate at the uh, sort of upper elbow, can bend at the elbow. Uh, no waist articulation this time. Uh, he's got a ball joint up here at the hip, can bend at the knee, can also swivel at the knee very slightly, and the feet do pivot just at the front here. So he does have some fairly decent articulation. Like I said earlier, you can get this guy into more poses than skids, um, due to the fact that he's got enormous feet and skids has tiny little triangle feet. So there we go. Now for a really quick comparison, here are the Ice Cream Twins next to the Hunt for the Decepticons Scout Class Hubcap. Uh, so you can see that the Ice Cream Twins are more or less scout size, in fact I think Hubcap is actually a little bit big for a scout. Um, but I think it's really cool how they managed to get, take two Scout Class figures and uh, make them combine into a deluxe vehicle mode. I think that's really, really cool. And that's what really sets these figures apart from uh, the rest of the Revenge of the Fallen line. Overall, these guys are fantastic and I really highly recommend that you look for them. Um, I really don't think they'll be on the shelves anymore, in fact I'm pretty certain they won't be. Um, your best bet to get these guys is either Amazon or eBay, um, or check out some of your comic book shops. Um, I've seen these guys knocking around in a few local ones uh, where I live. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, try and look for these guys if you don't have them, because they are a lot of fun. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later.